Hi, welcome to a new week, uh, Monday the 18th of October. This morning I want to take some words that uh, Martin Isles has shared on Facebook. Martin Isles is uh, the uh, head of the Australian Christian Lobby. And he's been talking about um, the issue of vaccinated people and unvaccinated people. And I thought he had some good things to say. So let's, uh, let's think about what Martin Isles has to say. He says, if you're unvaccinated, bear in mind that many who are vaccinated have done it with you in mind. They've acted out of concern for their community and their neighbourhoods. If you're vaccinated, bear in mind that many who are unvaccinated are acting out of good faith according to their conscience. It is troubled and they are genuinely compelled by it. There are other reasons, but both of those are perfectly fair motives for a, from a Christian perspective, even if you disagree with the person's conclusion. The humility and grace to bear with those who disagree over such matters of opinion is very important. It's a Christian virtue. Even if they are simply weak in faith, as the Apostle Paul would say, we show consideration. Uh, Romans uh, 15 verse 1 says, Now we who are strong ought to bear the weaknesses of those without strength. In the media, I'm seeing ruthless scapegoating of the unvaccinated. Self-righteously denigrating them, I suspect it'll get worse. On social media, I see some abuse of the vaccinated like calling them sheep and demanding they wake up. As pressure mounts to bring this kind of division into the church, including through vaccine passports, it's so important that we share no part of it. There are issues over which it is understandable for Christians to divide. This is absolutely, emphatically, without a doubt, not one of them. On this one, we must stay different from the world. Our love for each other must be unaffected by it. We may need to remember that in the coming weeks and months, again Romans 14 verse 10, but as for you, why do you judge your brother or sister? Or as well, why do you regard your brother or sister with contempt? Each one of us must give an account of himself to God. Well, uh, I, I wanted to add just a couple of words to that. And uh, one word in particular is listen. My advice is to listen. Listen to other people. Listen to different opinions. Somewhere we heard this quote which uh, has taken on a life of its own. And the quote simply is, silence is an option. It's an option that could be taken up more frequently in many situations. Husbands and wives know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. It's an option that leads to peace. It's an option that sometimes is an expression of love. Silence is an option. Perhaps we need to exercise that option on some more significant and strategic occasions. Let me pray for you. Father, we know that uh, in your word, Jesus' prayer for us uh, shortly before he went to the cross was that his followers might live in unity with one another. And we would echo Jesus' prayer. Pray that you would help us live in unity. And we pray that uh, issues of a political nature, issues of uh, uh, a, a, a nature that are circulating in the community would not cause division among your people. We, we pray against it and we pray that you would uh, fill our hearts with love and the ability to embrace all people of all differences. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you can do so again tomorrow. Bye for now.